what up everybody how you guys doing today today i am doing my first visit to myrtle waves for the 2024 season and we have wild water racers right over here um doesn't look open right now but it was open yesterday i don't know if that was just a soft opening i did see it on their instagram they're like wild water racers is opening at 3 p.m today and that was yesterday so i kind of assumed it'd be open today but it doesn't look open right now um and i kind of saw like a sign that said like attraction closed so i'm hoping that's not for the whole day um that would suck because i'm only here till 11 30. there are some people over there maybe we'll say opening at like a certain time um, i'm hoping so because that would really suck if it doesn't open today i miss doing vlogs and stuff guys i really do um but i just haven't been able to lately because um i have a job now I work at Funplex as a ride operator, and between that theater and like everything else, like school, I mean, school's out now um, when I'm recording this. But um, yeah, I just haven't had a lot of time to make videos. I'm gonna ask this lifeguard if why a lot of racers is opening today, like at any time. All right, guys. So yeah, here is the new Wild Water Racers, uh, or Wild Water Racer, I guess they're calling it. You have the regular Myrtle Wave sign right there. It's just attraction closed, but yeah. Do have a bunch of mats right there. And yeah, there it is. Um, it's not looking like it's gonna open like terribly soon because they don't even have water running down it right now. So that is not a good sign, but hopefully I will be able to ride it today. All right guys, so just as I expected, um, Wild Water Racers is having some kind of technical issue right now. Um, I assume with the water, the pumps, um, I mean, it's expected. It's a brand new ride. It just opened yesterday. I don't even think yesterday it was like an official opening. It was more like a soft opening. Um, they did post it a little bit though, but yeah, they have a truck down there. Um, this lady over here said that it might open later, um, but I'm not here for too long. So hopefully it'll open soon. All right guys, but right now we're going to go over to the saturation station, look for a seat, how, see how the volcano is doing. And I'm going to go check up on all the other rides, yeah, everything's going in 2024. The park actually opened like a month ago almost. Like I think it opened like May 11th um, and it's June 8th right now. So it's been almost a month since this place opened this year. So yeah, it's certainly already been through a lot. So everything should be broken in now. Myrtle waves, please, I'm begging you repaint the side of the volcano like what in the flip is going on there that looks horrible it's literally yellow we'll see if it's on a good cycle this year or at least today see if it's running good okay guys it is it literally, all the water came all the way out of here. It literally just, like, okay. It didn't even, like, do a little half, like, drop. It literally just dropped. What the frick? <laughs> that was pretty crazy. I can't lie. Like, I looked up, and all of a sudden, I see just a bunch of water coming down. Something cool this year is actually they have the little buckets on there. Like, you guys can see them up there? They're never on. But they're on this year. That bucket's on. And that one, the little bit is up there aren't on, but that's cool. They repainted a little bit. They repainted that um that bird and that part, so that's cool. But still no volcano. I'm hoping that'll definitely be next year because I mean it's the biggest part of this whole thing. Like it's the tallest up, and it's kind of the thing that stands out the most. It's the thing most people are gonna see, like first, and it's right up against the highway, so. I would think that they'd want to keep that looking good, but apparently not. Let's see if this thing will drop soon.
Wow. Alright guys, you're in the pouch now. We're in line for a Ruba Tuba, the toilet bowl thing here. Um, it feels weird, like, being back here. Like, I've spent so many summers here, you know? Like, almost every other day being here sometimes. And then, like, it's like a month into them being open and I haven't been here yet. Like, it feels just odd, you know? It's a Saturday right now. Um, but I will have some vlogs coming out for you guys. Um, yeah, hopefully the water isn't too cold. That's something I definitely don't miss when the water is like frigid. They don't seem to be having the as bad um, staffing issues this year, which is great. Like both of them, night flights are open and it's the right in the morning, which is great. Usually those either don't open at all or open later in the day. So that's great. Oh God, I see all that PVC pipe. That's new water sprayers. Oh boy, that's gonna be great. Not really, that's gonna suck when it's really cold. I'm finally just getting to the point where I can call Wild Water Racers its actual new name, like Wild Water Racers and H2O Racers. You can see Monster Drop over there though, just sitting there. Oh, okay. Alright guys, let's go. Whoa! Woo! Oh my god, definitely new sprayers. Oh boy. Oh god. Damn. I ran right into that. Okay, the water is not that cold, but it is cold outside. It is like 70 something out here. Don't like coming here in like 70 degree weather, but I was assuming I'd get on the new ride. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna stake mountain. Not really my thing right now. Not my jam. I'm gonna go across and hit uh, turbo twisters, I think. Guys, here's was a missed opportunity. They should have connected the path between like here and Wildwater Racers, like back here, kind of. Like, okay, this this looks like very different. Like this feel like this was all right up against something, you know? Like Riptide Rockets was all kind of just in this corner, and then now. You have this big side behind it. It's so weird. Oh, maybe, maybe once they're done, like for real, when they know it's not gonna just close again, maybe they will tear down this um, this fence, and then you can just walk right over there. Yeah, at least maybe I can walk on the new little path right here. Yep. Wow. I mean, there's no like theming or anything whatsoever, but it does look good here. And they actually put a new little like fence thing, not fence, but like roped fence right here. So you can't just run over here anymore now. And there's also rocks there. So you have to walk the full way around, which sucks, but it's also like, it's fine, you know? I understand why it's there. All right, well, let's, let's do this. Oh God, they gotta fix the seams again on Riptide Rockets. Um, if you're wondering what used to be in the Wild Water Racers plot, um, right here just used to be overflow parking and then 
right over there was the fast lazy river that was sitting there forever and was also green for a portion of last season so definitely that, glad they got rid of that eyesore now it's a nice slide it looks like they repainted the outside of it but uh not the inside Things amazing. All right, guys, I'm gonna do Riptide Rockets now. Orange Turbo was absolutely amazing, as it always is. I don't really want to do Snake Mountain right now, just because uh, I'm not. I don't feel like walking over there and walking up there. It's not worth it. So I'll probably just stay in these slides for a little bit. I'm still very bored of the slides here. Like even after a whole off season of it. Like I'm just burnt out with them, man. Like I came here like 25 seasons in 20, no, like 25 times in 2021, like 15 times in 2022, then like at least seven or eight times, maybe even 10 in 2023. So I'm kind of burnt out with the slides here. If, if Wild Water, if I knew Wild Water Racer wasn't gonna be open, that I wouldn't have come, but. I might as well do my one uh, purple turbo twister ride of the year right after this. But I'm going to do Riptide Rockets now. Probably. Seem not as bad as this one. Oh, but they still hurt. Whew. It's a good slide. All right, guys. Now. I'm gonna do the purple turbo twister. I usually only do this once a year just to see if it's any better. I doubt it as always, but I like to do it once a year just to make sure. All right guys, here we're up on purple now. Seams aren't very good though. Yeah, you can probably hear them honestly. Okay. Yeah, the seams killed it honestly. It got somewhat fast at one point, but yeah, the seams kind of made it not very enjoyable. All right guys, so unless this ride opens um, from the time that my dad, like from now until when my dad gets here, um, then this is probably gonna be the end of this video. Um, I will be back at some point soon to try to get on this thing again, maybe tomorrow, maybe another day soon. But yeah, it looks like they're bringing some new chairs in there. Hopefully that means that it'll be opening, but I doubt it by the time my dad gets here, which is gonna be pretty soon, probably. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I will obviously be making another video once this ride is ready to be opened for sure. Um, I'll be uploading just a regular POV, and that's when you guys know that there will be a vlog coming soon about this ride officially being open. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, the merch link will be in the description below, and other than that, aim high, not low, and never quit. Peace. Thank you.